Good to have you with us. European football is back and Ronnie Celtic are hoping it's the first of many ties over the coming months. Yeah, Raman, the world of football has changed dramatically due to the coronavirus. None more so than the Champions League format. This season, Neil Lennon's men are going to have to navigate three one-legged ties before the playoff round. Thankfully for Celtic, the first of those is tonight here at Celtic Park against KR Reykjavik. So that home advantage is there for Neil Lennon's men and they'll be hoping they can take full advantage of that as they go into the next round next week. For me, the game's all about us. We're at home. Um, it's one leg. So our preparation has been good, even though you know we've, we missed out on a couple of games, which would have helped. But um, you know we've, we've given plenty of respect to Reykjavik, but I'm expecting a strong performance from ourselves. Well, okay, KR Reykjavik are a semi-professional side who sit fourth in the Icelandic league. I believe and hope that we can uh, surprise them a little bit. Uh, maybe have the one odd game that helps us to to give them a, at least a good game and, and and not go away from here with too many goals in our back. My player is no diver, so says Ross County boss Stuart Kettlewell, who has defended Harry Payton after the midfielder was booked for simulation at the weekend. When your player's get a, uh, getting treatment on a dead leg in the Monday morning from the tackle that, that was a dive and there was no contact, then of course then that, that's, that's a problem. The other wee aspect of it as well, and some of you guys have maybe spoke to the lad, but Harry Payton's probably one of the most honest pros that I've ever come across in my life. Not long to wait before Edinburgh and Glasgow face each other in the 1872 Cup. Jamie, I imagine there's still a bit of needle between these two. You can absolutely say that again, Raman. Yeah, rugby is back with a bang here at Murrayfield Stadium when Scotland's oldest rivals meet each other back-to-back -back weekend to finish off the Pro 14 regular season. And for Edinburgh, two wins would almost certainly guarantee them a home semi-final. And that's exactly what Richard Cockrell is looking for. Meanwhile, Glasgow, they've announced their co-captains for the season ahead. Brian Wilson will be assisted in his leadership duties by Scotland hitter Fraser Brown. You know, it's a big privilege for me. Um, as I said before, um, Glasgow's sort of built my whole career. Um, so to be able to sort of lead the club out, um, obviously alongside Ryan, is, is a big privilege and, and probably something that I hopefully won't take lightly. You know, they've got a good side. We've got a good side. Look, it, we know that it's evened up over the last three years. Um, we uh, we need a point to get to a semi-final. Um, you know, two wins will guarantee us a home semi-final, depending obviously on what months to do. So um, we've got it all in our own hands.